add one sixteen ounce can of tomato sauce. Uh, please turn the heat to low before adding the tomato sauce. Man, my old pizza video sucked. But before I tackle that, let me try something similar. To begin this recipe, grab a stand mixer with the dough hook attachment, then add two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. Then grab one cup of warm water. You want it to be like around uh, 100 degrees, 106 tops. Then take one packet of active dry yeast and add it to our water. Stir this until it's uh, mostly dissolved. Then add one teaspoon of sugar to our water yeast mixture. Give it a good stir. Then add two teaspoons of salt to our bowl. Then add our yeast water sugar mixture. And finally, add one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. In this moment, I am euphoric. Combine on low speed. Low speed, damn it, low. Okay, the mixture looks a bit dry. I think I'm gonna add a few tablespoons of water. Okay, once it forms into a ball, turn off the mixer. Okay, this dough is gonna be sticky, just a heads up. Then take the bowl, cover it in a tea towel, and let the dough rest and rise for one to two hours. Now, preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Do you enjoy poking fun at America's gun control problem while recovering from your acid attack? Chaps! The number you're looking for is 205 degrees Celsius. All right, it's been about an hour or two. Let's begin. Sprinkle your work surface with flour. Sprinkle some flour into the bread bowl. Punch it down. Now let's make sure this thing is nice and coated with flour so it doesn't stick. Next, grab a rolling pin and roll the whole thing out to about a quarter inch thickness. You might have to keep applying flour. Try to cut this into a perfect square or rectangle. Cut these into inch wide strips. Sprinkle a little bit more flour and take one of these strips and tie them into knots. Being gentle not to use too much force. And once you tie them into a knot, bring the two ends together like this. Place them on a tray lined with parchment paper. Now for the garlic part. In a small saucepan, add five tablespoons of salted butter. You heard me right, salted. And melt that over medium low heat. And once the butter is fully melted, add two to three cloves of garlic pureed or minced. And brush them all over our garlic knots once they're done cooking. Serve a little marinara on the side and you're good to go. Now then, to eat this entire tray of garlic knots in real time. Because apparently that's what you people and YouTube definitely wants to see. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and beaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you really enjoyed the video, smash the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Also, please share this channel with as many people you know so I can finally get a new laptop. I'm still using my 2012 MacBook Pro with the disk drive.